Hi, this is Nate from Trainer Road, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to pair your devices and get started with your first workout. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is uh, launch our software. If you don't have it, you can always get it from www.trainerroad.com slash install. We have versions for both Windows and OS X, uh, the Mac version. So I'm going to double click here. These instructions are the same too on the Mac. So it's going to open up Trainer Road. It will download all of our workouts the first time that you uh, open it up. Then I'm going to click on the Devices tab. And now here I don't have a USB stick plugged in, so I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to plug my USB stick in and then click Search. Okay, now it's found my USB stick, and I'm going to pair some devices. So before I pair it, the first thing I'm going to do is wake them up. So I have my heart rate monitor on. And then I'm just going to spin my uh, my cranks once to get my power tap going and to get my speed cadence monitor going. So I'm going to click pair, pair, pair. And now it's found my power meter, it's found my heart rate monitor, and it's found my speed cadence monitor. So now I'm all paired up, I'm ready to go. The next thing I want to do is make sure my power source is set correctly. If you have a, a cork, an SRM, a power tap, um, those new vectors, pedals, anything like that, you want to make sure power meter is connected. If, you're, if you want to connect a CompuTrainer, um, there's another video in our YouTube channel that shows how to do that. Um, or if you're using virtual power, then you want to make sure that you select whichever trainer you have. So um, some of these trainers say beta by them. Beta means that we're using a published curve, but we're not 100% um, sure that it's completely accurate. We might have to edit it in the future to make it more accurate. We're working on getting a motor to hook up to a bike and do some really good solid tests. Um, that's still a little bit way, uh, still a little ways out though. And if we do ever edit it, we'll automatically um, tell you what your new FTP is and send an email out to you so you know what's changing. Um, the ones we do know really well are the uh, road machine, the Kirk Connect road machine and the rock and roll. So I'm on a Kirk Connect road machine, I'm going to select that. Now for my first workout, um, if you're new to train a road, we suggest that you do one of the tests, either 20 minute test or the 8 minute test. Why that is good, so let me show you how to show, um, find that first. So we have a whole bunch of workouts on our feet. I think we're over 180 right now. Uh, we have a whole bunch of structured workouts. We have a couple free rides that are just blank workouts to do. We have Sufferfest videos. Uh, we have long workouts and we have short workouts. So what you can do is you can find those workouts on our website. They, there's filters on our website so, um, to be able to pick which workout you want. We also have training plans, which I recommend following one. Uh, the tr plans are meant to be done in order. The, the first base plans by Trainer Road. There's some other tr um, plans by other coaches, but those go base one, base two, um, build one, build two, and then we're going to have some more workouts for the summer on top of that. So that's you can follow that those plans. That'll be another way to choose how to do workouts. But if, uh, to find them in this application, what you can do is just search right here. So I clicked in this text box, and I'm going to type test. So that has restricted my list to the two tests that we have available, the 20-minute test and the 8-minute test. Um, to, see, to view the de details of it, you just click on it, and then it opens up. Um, anything that says instructions right here means that you're going to get some text while you work out. And our tests both have great instructions. So they're going to guide you through the test, how you do it, where you need to go all out, um, what's the thinking behind it. They want to make sure, or we want to make sure that you don't go too hard, um, and then what um, FTP means, your functional threshold, and how that relates to training on Trainer Road. I'll give you a brief overview right now. What it, what it does is these tests, when you do them, there is, I'm, I'm going to open this up. I have two ways to open it up. I can click here on the window, or I can click this open workout button. So this, this is uh, what the workout looks like. My heart rate is 74 right now. I'm not on my bike right now, so there's no power coming out, and there's no cadence. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, sorry, we'll, we'll just talk through this. So when you, when you, to play this workout, you can just pedal, get your bike above 60 RPM, and then it starts playing the workout. If you stop for five seconds or more, it will pause the workout. That's a setting that you can change. So 
under profile. I'm actually signed into someone else right now. But you can check this, don't use cadence to play or pause workout. If you do that, you can see that that button's gone away and you can just click play. So I'm going to uncheck it. You can still Now you can pedal to start. I can also, um, underneath profile, choose power smoothing, three or five seconds. What that does is it just uh, takes the average of the last three or the last five seconds of your power output, and it makes this number not be so jumpy. I can also change the volume of the beep sounds between intervals. We play a little beep when you come up to an interval. And the type of the workout, too. Um, I really recommend keeping this at power. You can do heart rate based workouts if you don't have a good virtual power trainer and you just have a heart rate monitor, but I really recommend doing power. So what these what this workout does is once you get in this work period, which is this 20 minute block right here, we take the average of that, we do a calculation on it, and we figure out what's called your FTP or functional threshold power. Now your FTP is about the it is the maximum power that you can hold out for an hour. Now, because we don't want people to do a whole test for, um, you know, go all out for an hour, what a standard in the cycling in industry is, you do this 20-minute test right here, and then you, uh, you multiply that by 0.95, and that gets your FTP. When you first start Trainer Road, we default your FTP to 200. Now, this could be pretty high for some people, and this can be pretty low. So... Once you start out, we start really low and then we ramp up. If you feel that this workout, the first time you ride, is too hard, stop pedaling, get off the bike, and push this button right here. This lowers the intensity of the workout. So you, you can lower this down your first workout. If, in other workouts in the future, it's kind of cool. You can scale them up or scale them down. So if, if you've gone through a few intervals and it's too hard, you can scale them down. So your first time, you don't know your FTP. Um, we're going to start you off at 200. As you go through this workout, if it's too hard, just scale it down. It, it really doesn't matter. The only important part is right here before this work, right here this during this work effort. And the instructions during the workout will tell you um, that you need to go all out during this period and, and what you need to do and what you need to think about. This is the important part on the tests. Everything else doesn't matter for what your FTP will be. So once you get through this, and you finish this workout, we're going to show you a window that shows both your FTP and your lactic threshold heart rate. Um, this is just, you're not going to train off this, but you're going to train off your FTP, your functional threshold power. So once you get a new FTP, this number will change. Let's say it um, could go up or it could go down. It would be at 130. Now, the next workout you do, you choose. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to type in here... Um, Threshold. Here's a list of all of our threshold workouts. So I'm going to scroll down and find uh, Gilbert. I'm going to look at it and say, hey, this looks like a good workout. I'm going to start right here, which makes it one of my favorite workouts, and it's going to be stuck to the top of this workout list in the future. I'm going to open the workout, and now you see this little white line is drawn as my FTP. This workout has been scaled, so it is now um, made for my fitness level. So now I'd go through this workout, and it's going to be harder than the test because my FTP went up. Maybe not harder than the test. The tests are pretty hard. But it'll be at the appropriate fitness level because I've done that test. So the idea is every six to eight weeks you retest. Um, some people, though, if you're beginners, you might excel faster than that. So let's say we go through this workout. This is a pretty hard workout. And let's say we're, we're through um, three or four weeks. We don't want to test again. Well, what we could do is you don't have to test to raise your FTP. Let's say you're going to do this workout again. You say, oh, this time I'm going to go up to 235. And next time I open the workout, now this workout is just a little bit harder. But it's a small increment. So throughout the, the course of your plan, you can come in here and tweak your FTP and raise it just a bit. You can still do the test to get kind of a really good measuring stick, but you should always be pushing yourself. Don't wait six to eight weeks to raise your FTP, um, especially if you're new. You can get big improvements fast. If you're new to training with intervals, you could be cycling for a while, but you're not used to doing hard intervals like this. And Trust me, you'll know if it's a different pain. A lot of people have said that this is, you know, they've never worked out so hard, but, but they're designed to be able to get through them. So, would you... I lost my train of thought again. Great video, huh? 
guys from Trainer Road, real professionals. So what you just want to do is you want to keep pushing yourself. You want to keep raising this up just a little bit. Um, if you get through, let's say you, you do this workout and you can't make it this last interval, that's fine. Leave your FTP where it is. If you, if you made it through everything else, next time I bet you'll make it. You might get, need a little more rest or you'll just get the extra fitness added from doing this workout. Okay, so I think I've talked enough. I want to show you what a workout looks like. Um, there's two ways to, to, to uh, do a workout on Trainer Road. You can do it in vertical view, which is like this. You can also make these numbers bigger. So if you're a, a little blind, you can just edit the size of it. And you can also do horizontal view, which is what I do 90% of my workouts in. And what that does is it puts it down here at the bottom of your screen. And what I like to do is I will go to uh, Netflix.com. This works for Hulu too. I'm sorry for everyone who's out of the U.S. And uh, let's see, what did I just watch? The Secret of My Success. My wife watched that. But let's... Uh, so I'm going to play that. So I'm going to put Trainer Road back down here. Now you can see it's playing. Um, if you click this full screen button, you lose Trainer Road, and you don't want that. The cool thing you can do, though, is if you get this in here and you push F11 on your keyboard, you get full screen with Trainer Road in front. So right now I have a video playing. I have it down here, and all I have to do is pedal to start. So I think I can, I have my wife's bike set up, so I think I can uh, reach her bike just barely. And uh, I'll start pedaling. My cadence is above 50. I'm hitting my target. You can see there's that green line. The workout started. So if I go too hard, it goes red. And if I stop, pedaling, the workout's been paused. I can start pedaling again. There we go, it's going. So our workout will guide you through the, uh, will guide you through the entire workout. Let me stop this video now. I'm gonna just going to push F11 again. Stop it. So you can see here, I started recording my workout, my heart rate. Um, if I close the workout right now, it'll automatically be saved. So I just closed it. It's now in my career tab. It's been synced online. I can publish it to Facebook. I can download the workout data, or I can add some notes. So I'm gonna say, uh, this was a test for a video. I'm gonna save that. The notes have been uh, saved online. I can click view online. And here's my workout. So I can now share this. Shows I was using a Kirk Kinetic Road Machine as my power source. Um, I can download the workout file here if I want to put it on something else. Shows my FTP is uh, 236. It shows some um, numbers. We have some documents in our support form if you if you look for under support.trainerroad.com let me just show you that there's a getting started section and there's an article called what do FTP, NP, IF, and TSS mean you'll want to read this if you're new and it will give you an idea what all these numbers mean um, Trainer Road automatically calculates all your intervals so if I were to have worked in here We'll look at another workout in a second. But it would give me my average power, my normalized power, my, what my target was, my heart rate, and my cadence. And then down here, you can leave a comment. So this was a great ride. And then you can log in with different providers and post it. I'm not going to log in right now. Um, on our career page, you can click that. And what this does is it's going to show you your entire career with Trainer Road and all your workouts. So this is me. Um, these are all the workouts that I've done. I need to work out more. So if I look at, uh, so I'll work out, look at Red Slate. It's a pretty fun workout. 
I was using a power meter when I did it. My FTP was 210. And here are all the, uh, we see we pre-calculate all these intervals. So here's set one. And then I can look at every single interval how I did. My target was 229. My actual power was 220. So it's a little bit low. It looks like I'm a little bit low on all these workouts. Which I, I remember this one was kind of hard for me. And you can look at my heart rate too, how it got way up there. I'm like 190 up here. I have a little butterfly heart rate. And then people are asking me uh, some questions. They commented on it. And I responded. So that's it. Um, there are some other videos in our YouTube feed that you can watch. But this is the basics of Trainer Road. Let me show you one more thing. If you want to post to Facebook, you can just uh, log into Facebook. And here's a picture of my daughter with Santa. That's my profile picture. I can type some messages and click publish. So I'm not going to do that right now. Yeah, so that's it. Um, it's really great. The other thing, check out these plans that we have. Uh, they're all offered. Here's the early, they're all free included. Here's the early base that I was talking about before. Starts with the test. You can actually uh, switch this out. So if you don't want to do the 8-minute test, you can do the 20-minute uh, test. Each week has its own instructions with it. it has a tips and instructions for it and you can look click on the exact workouts to get a description about them and what they do okay great um, if you have any questions you can always ask us something at support at or excuse me email us at support at trainerroad.com and for faster service you can always go to support.trainerroad.com and search our forums we're keep we're continuously adding new documents to this okay thank you thanks for watching